How is she? Well, she's finally asleep. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't understand what she was talking about. And she seems to be feeling guilty about something. I wonder what she's talking about. Was she hallucinating? She did drink the whole bottle. I don't get it either. Holly was talking about some girl that she took in before. Did she mean you? Yes, that's me. Who else? I haven't seen Olya like this for a while. Well, I've never seen Olya like this ever. She's always been so busy, focused on her work and this. Mm -hmm. She's always been my rock and the person I look up to. Olya in a bottle. It's unbelievable. Well, these things happen in life. You know, after the death of my brother, Olya's husband, Mikola, she started having a drinking problem. She was grieving, obviously. So she would drink away the pain she felt inside, sometimes for several days, with alcohol to fall asleep. While taking care of two little girls. It got too hard for her that she quit her job. So she could take care of Anna, Yana, and myself. I was a teenager and my brother just died. Uh -huh. Those were hard times. Mm -hmm. I tried my best several times to help her out, but somehow, even with my help, things wouldn't work out so well. That's why Olya stopped drinking. So what would make her get so drunk now? I don't know. She's obviously suffering and something must have happened. Something very serious. So we've been waiting all this time for Dennis. And here's what we've got. Not much of a party. Yes, the surprise didn't work as expected. But at least he blew out the candles and got his presents for his birthday party. But he didn't blow out the candles. And Risha didn't even have enough time to light them. <laughs> when he disappeared. He only ate a small piece of cake. The rest of the food got cold. I worked hard on this. The lesson for us is next time we should arrange it way beforehand. A hard-working man like Dennis often works in the office until late in the evening, even on days like his birthday. We should respect that he's a busy man. But I believe people should at least take a day off to celebrate special days with family. No matter how busy or hard-working they claim to be. Probably. Olya wasn't at the party either. But she did call to apologize. She's been avoiding us lately. You noticed it too? Mm. I'm trying to treat her well, despite what her daughter has done to our family. I don't understand why she's still so aloof to us. She's obviously embarrassed by everything Anna has done. I would avoid us too, if I was in her position. You can't get enough of that gift. It's not that. I still can't imagine why Anna would give me the scarf. I think it's perfectly clear. This is part of her plan. My sister is manipulating you to try to thrill you. To make you fall madly in love with her. As far as I can see, it's working great. Darling, I know that you keep accusing me of having groundless jealousy. But if you think about it, is it really groundless? There's nothing going on between us. I can throw it away if you want. 
I can do that myself. Darling, it really hurts my feelings that you... prefer to go to this business meeting as an excuse to see Yana instead of coming to your birthday. And now when you're in your bed and you're supposed to sleep in your wife's hug, you're staring at her birthday gift. Yes, of course I find it hurtful. Because apparently, Yana still means more to you than I do. I'm sorry, you're probably right. I understand. Tell me the truth. Don't you love me anymore? Why aren't you saying anything? Is it so hard to say I love you to your wife? I'd love to say it, but I can't lie to you again. Not anymore. Olya was crying and saying, it's all my fault. What kind of a mother am I? Do you know what happened? No. Olya got so drunk, she drank a whole bottle. What? Mom got drunk? Mm -hmm. Now that can't be happening. I didn't fight with her, neither did Anna. Mom doesn't drink except for maybe a glass of wine. I'm telling you, she was drunk as sin. Petra and I found an empty bottle next to her. Maybe the bottle was almost empty when she took it to her room. Hi. Where the hell have you been all this time? Danilo again? No, I wasn't. Right, you're so sincere. Be grateful, I have other things on my mind. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Why? What happened? Olya had too much to drink tonight. She's resting now. I'll try and ask her about it tomorrow. I can imagine how she'll feel tomorrow. I can get up early and cook some soup for her tomorrow morning. They say it's the best cure for hangovers. Mm-hmm. Just be quiet tonight. Let her sleep in peace. Don't let her go to work tomorrow, okay? She needs to rest and recharge. Mm -hmm. Of course, we can handle the restaurant tomorrow. Oh, my poor sister Olya. What could have happened? <sighs> what the hell is going on? It's 6.30 a.m. God, what's that noise? We were supposed to keep quiet so we don't wake up Mama Olya from her sleep. Oh, what's the Yuba thinking? Olya, what are you doing? Do you know what time it is? Sorry, did I wake you up? Good morning, my family. Morning, Mom. Are you feeling okay? Just great. Really? No more headache? No headache? No nausea? I do have things to do. No time for lounging around the house. Let us help you with the chores, then. It's all right. I don't need your help. Go. Brush your teeth already. Get dressed for work today. I finished making your breakfast. Let me finish this, and then I'll proceed to the laundry. What are you waiting for? May I? Come in. You look great today. Thanks. I came to apologize. I should have been with you at your brother's birthday party yesterday, even if I only wanted to be with you. I'm not upset. Dennis came home from work late last night anyway, so there was no party. It's just okay that you weren't there. I would like to make up for it. Let's go out on a dinner date tonight. But you don't like dining out. Today I do. Because I got my bonus. Besides, we have something to celebrate. 
Today is two months since the day we started seeing each other. Like a month of some sort. <laughs> wow, we have month -series. And you remember them. How romantic. But I can't make it. Our assistant director, Artem, is having a get-together for turning 30 today. Okay, let's go together. I don't think it's a good idea for us to go together, even if you were my husband. And why is that? First of all, we've agreed from the start to hide our romantic relationship from the people we work with. And secondly, <clears throat> Artem invited only his co-workers and wants to keep it to a small group. <laughs> Silly me, I thought you dressed up today for my sake, but it's for this... Assistant. <clears throat> okay. Where are you guys going? To a nightclub? I don't know. What if I just went there all by myself? And why would you do that? I'm sorry. I need you to sign this. It's urgent. Can we do that later? No, we can't. Vadim, please get a hold of yourself. Your jealousy is starting to look like paranoia. I don't like it at all. Please forgive me. Carolina, today I decided I'm ready to do anything to be with you. I can't even work as a waiter or bartender at the joint you're going to. I promise to be discreet. You would need a beard for that. I'll get one. I hope it doesn't come unglued and fall into someone's glass. Okay. I think it'd be better if I finished early and went to a restaurant with you. I can't stay long, though. Yes, my lovely lady. Anything you want. I can hardly wait for tonight. I'll go back to work. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. How was your birthday party? Good, thank you. I'm sorry you were late because of me. I hope your family wasn't mad at you. No worries, everything's okay. Don't worry about it. Did you like the present I gave you? Yes, a lot. Thank you. Look, the following dates don't match the ones in the report. Check the data files and fix the mistake, all right? I see. I'll get on it. Good morning. Good morning, Yana. You can also check the data on top of page three, here. I wonder why Dennis was so indifferent about my present. It's an exact copy of the scarf I made for him once before. He couldn't have forgotten. Hi, everyone. Yana, hello, my sister. Hello, sister. Can I talk to you for a moment? I really appreciate the subtle gift you give my darling for his birthday. But he has no need for it. It doesn't even match his style. For future reference, please refrain from sending stupid gifts to Dennis. Thank you. If there's anything else you need, let me know. Your order will be ready in 10 minutes. Zoriana, come here. Check that the salt and pepper shakers are all filled on the tables. And change to the tablecloth at table number five. Okay. And one more thing. Please fix your apron. It looks a bit lopsided today. Uh, okay. Will do. Thank you. <laughs> we shouldn't have worried about Mama Olya's hangover after all. 
She's so energetic. Hey, girls. Get back to work. Time is wasting. How do you feel today? Are you okay? How many times will you ask? If I said I was all right, then I'm all right. Tell me about what happened yesterday then. I'm worried. If something is bothering you, you can tell me and you'll feel a lot better after. There is nothing that's bothering me. I simply wanted to relax yesterday after work and I enjoyed it a little too much. Yes, it was a bit irresponsible, but it won't happen again. Okay? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't need my help at all? Luba, this thing is getting old. Stop nagging me and get back to work. Okay. Bon appetit. I was just going to see you. Why are you so sad? Something wrong? No, everything's fine. Why were you looking for me? My assistant, Artem, is celebrating his birthday today. We're all invited. I thought we might go to the party together. We've chipped in for his present, but you and I could buy him something from us as a couple. We could buy something on our way and sign a postcard too, if you don't mind. A postcard is a good idea, but... What? I wasn't planning to go. I have a lot of work to do. The department is very busy now, and I also need to look through the new script for the talk show. The party is... actually tonight. Why don't I'm you... I'm sorry. I'm not going. I'll just greet Autumn later. Is there anything else you want to ask? Mm -mm. Have a nice day, then, and enjoy the party tonight. Mama Olya, would it be okay to leave early today? I have a meeting with someone at 7 later. It's an afternoon plein air art session. I really want to be there to attend a painting class in the open. If we hurry with the cleanup, of course you can go. Tell me where you're going. Maybe I've got some errands. And again, when will it end? Luba, stop this racket. There are customers in front. I'll be quiet. Quiet, you're honking like a goose. Olya, I finished my work. Can I please go now? I have some urgent business. I was hoping you'd help us close. But if you have to go, you may go. Thanks. I'll help you tomorrow. What about me? Oh, God. Finish your work and you can go. Okay. Hi, Claudia. When are they going to bring my salad? Relax. We ordered it just a few minutes ago. Yeah, yes. But if I'm late for the birthday party, Arden will be offended. I wouldn't want to disappoint him. Then maybe we should have left the office a bit earlier, as you suggested. But you wanted to stay late. Something came up with our advertisers. It was important. I had to solve the problem. I really appreciate that you found 30 minutes in your tight schedule to meet me, but do you really want to... Spend this special time right now with me? The woman I love sits across the table from me. Her head full of her work, a birthday party, a waiter with her salad, anything but me. I'm sorry, you're right. Besides, I don't see a problem with you being late for 30 to 60 minutes to the party. 
As far as I understand, it'll be an informal gathering. A buffet dinner with lots of people who'll be too busy to miss you. So since you're here... You can spend some quality time with me enjoying the food and the conversation. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. Sharp as an eel, as usual. By the way, where's my salad? I want to enjoy each bite of the food, in addition to the conversation we're having. <laughs> Can you imagine how Danilo felt growing up without his mother? I had to lie to him and said that you were dead, so he wouldn't know his mother abandoned him. That she didn't want him in her life. Listen, I know that. I understand all this. I did a horrible thing. I know I don't deserve to be forgiven, but... The truth of the matter is I... I don't want to listen to your lame excuses. And your lies. None of it. It's too late. Listen to me and leave Danilo alone. And you leave Cherkasi. You are not his mother. I recently got married to a woman I love. He has a real family now, a real mother, who are loving and caring of him. He's also grown up now. He doesn't need you anymore. You'll pack up all of your stuff and stay away from my family. Is that clear? We also don't need anything from you. Artem, he's not only a pro, but also a good friend. He's always on the lookout for things that could possibly go wrong on the set, and he doesn't hesitate to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I forgot. He's a gentleman. A sincere and very kind man. To Artem. To Artem. To Artem. <laughs> Marina, why are you looking so sad? Hey, this is my party and I insist that you should be having fun. I am having fun. You look stunning today. Would you like to dance with me? I promise that I won't embarrass you. Yes, Marina, very okay. Would you like me to call you a taxi? No, I can handle it. Do you know where Victor is? No. Was he here recently? I haven't seen him in quite a while. They say Lala wasn't feeling well. She told him to go home and left. Uh, so she's sick. Maybe she needs our help. Why don't we go visit her? That's what I was going to suggest. Come on then. Maybe she needs medicine from the drugstore. Yeah, yeah.
But you know, I don't really feel anything for her. I hope she's doing okay. Let her live her life. I'm not looking for her anymore. First of all, this is pointless. Also, it upsets my father. Okay. I should go. Thanks. I'll see you later. Lada, are you home? Could you open the door? It's me, Danilo. Maybe she isn't there. But the kids told us that she just got home, right? Maybe she took her medicine and fell asleep after. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You're right. Or she might be at the doctor's for a checkup. Let's come back later. <laughs> Olya and I saw you entering the house just now. We were walking right behind you. I waved to you and called you, but you were so spaced out, you didn't notice. Really? I didn't notice. What's going on? Are you having a problem? You practically ran away from work. As I said, I had things to take care of. I'm just wondering what kind of problems would make you abandon your work suddenly like that. How are you grilling me right now? Don't you see? I'm not in the mood to talk. Mm -hmm. Can't you leave me alone for once? I just asked a question. Why are you so angry? Can you shut up for once? And not talk to me at all. Stop asking me these questions. Can I be alone with my thoughts for a while? Or do I have to leave the house for that? Will you come to dinner? Can I at least ask you this? <laughs> Andri, do you need some help getting home? Let me call the guys to help you. No, thank you. I can deal with this situation. I'm used to being on my own. Oh, here comes my ride. Where will you go when you can barely stay on your feet? Relax. I'm sorry. Hey, dude, could you help me out here? No, I'm not driving him in that condition. Uh, He'll barf all over my cab. I'll pay and come with you. We have a deal? Only if you promise me you'll watch him. Okay. Andri! Andri! Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, steady now. I can do it. I can manage. Of course, of course. <sighs> the doors are closing. Dude, can you turn the music on? Well, this is an interesting surprise.
So, Dennis is finally gone. It's time to accept it. What did I expect anyway? That he sees the scarf and miraculously realizes that my sister and I have somehow swapped our faces? That everything will come back to what it used to be? Between us? I'm so naive. It will never go back to that. Ever again. Where's Petro? Dinner's been waiting for quite some time. Huh. I think he's lost his mind. I can't ask him anything. He says he wants to be alone and in silence. He's too fat anyway. Let him starve. What's that? What the hell are you saying? I'll tell him he has no right to treat you like oh, this. Oh, yeah, please don't. Just leave him. He isn't himself right now. Who knows what problem is gnawing at him. Maybe he'll talk to us later. He might leave if I push him. That's not like him. Now he disappears, talking to Henna, lashing out at people. We are family. We have the right to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. We'll sort it out later. We're here. Okay. Easy, easy. <laughs> Where's the light switch? Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're home. Oh. <sighs> easy, easy. Come on. Hey, come on. Don't push me. Okay, you go by yourself. Yes. <sighs> <sighs> How could you get this wasted? I'm not taking off your shoes. Now get some sleep. <sighs> Come here. <laughs> easy, easy. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, relax, oh, Tiger. No. <sighs> Anna. That's something new. <sighs> Good night. Dmitry Vasilyevich? Yeah, of course I remember you. For lunch? Interesting. <laughs> You know I can always make time to meet with you. It's a deal. I'll see you there. Ooh, Fedovsky calling me himself. It looks like my time in this business has finally arrived. I wonder what a local council deputy officer wants from me. If he has a business proposition, I'll probably accept the offer. Now finally, I don't need to be afraid of anyone anymore. The only person who dared to blackmail me will never bother me ever again. Right, Vitya? That's because I didn't let you beat me. Cool party. That's how you celebrate your 30th birthday. Right. <laughs> I was barely able to get up this morning. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Happy birthday, Artem. Thanks. See you later. See ya. What a poor guy. Carolina is cheating on him with Andri, and he has no idea what's happening. What did you say? I'm telling you. Carolina didn't even go inside the club to greet you happy birthday. As soon as she saw Andri near the club, she jumped into a cab with him, and that's that. Alcohol is strictly off the table for you. It's just as well. It's time to come out of it anyway. <laughs> you look thirsty. 
Is it after last night's party? How did it go? It was horrible. <sighs> you know, I don't even remember how I made it home alive last night. And I just woke up. In my own bed, still in my clothes. And shoes. I can't remember anything. You mean you don't remember anything at all? Mm-mm. The last thing I remember is ordering a drink at the club. And then after I did that, everything's dark. Okay, I'll try to help you out with your memory. I was the one who brought you home. <sighs> How embarrassing. So you saw me in that condition. Did I behave? Do I have to apologize? For something I had no control of? No. Although you were calling for Anna. Anna? Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I dreamt it or something. We used to work on Rhea together. I'm a director. Maybe I was directing her in my dream. I don't know. What other reason could it be? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I told him you were in a meeting. Last night's meeting wasn't enough. You still have to be together the whole night? How dare you? What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. Half of the town saw you. Going away with him to cheat on me. It's today's headline at work. The talk of the town. I put you on a pedestal. I respected you. Then this. Hey, just take it easy. You're out of your mind. Shut your mouth. And you watch your mouth. <clears throat> Vadim! <clears throat> Security to my office right now. Petro. I noticed you've been depressed lately. I can see that something is gnawing at you. What's bothering you? <clears throat> I'd like to help. We're family. I'm always ready to help you and your wife with anything I can. It's nothing, Olya. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. Nothing you should be worried about. I'm not in any kind of trouble. I thank you for asking. I... I don't need anybody's help with anything. Luba's worried sick about you. She's just being paranoid. She has no reasons to worry. I love Luba. I'm not seeing any other woman. I'm not in any debt. I don't even drink. Lastly, I'm not doing anything that's illegal. Have I listed anything Luba might be worried about? Oh yes, I forgot. I don't lie to her either. I think you're very tired, Petro. Take the rest of the day off to relax. No thanks. I'm okay. Wait, I need to finish something with you. I don't mind, come on. Please show Vadim Arkadyevich out of my office right Let's now. Let's go. You've never taken me seriously, right? And now you? Made me a laughing stock. This isn't over, you bastard. If you can't handle him, I'll be forced to contact the police. Leave me alone. I'm gone. Just a cup of green tea. As for me, I'll have espresso with milk. So? So, I've been a big fan of yours <laughs> for quite some time now. My PA even put together a dossier of you for me. <laughs> now you're scaring me. Are you in the Secret Service by any chance? Or maybe Mossad? You grew up in a good and simple family. Graduated from university majoring in marketing. And you got married to a prominent citizen. Your business reputation is perfect. 
and became a TV host. People recognize you in the street. The recent events only added brownie points for you. What do you mean by brownie points? Your part in rescuing that orphan girl. Mm -hmm. Also, it highlighted the fact that you are truly dedicated in charity work. That is true. In addition to that, to all of your professional and personal virtues, you're also a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. So, what was the business proposition you were offering me? I'm creating a new political party. Do you follow political news? Like anyone these days, also because I'm a TV host. Yes, of course I follow the news about our country. Have you ever thought about becoming a newsmaker instead of just following the news? In other words, would you like to work in politics? I mean, would you like to run as a politician? Politician? Me? Yes. We have a need for someone like you, Anna, in our political party. You are self-confident, and most importantly, you are a fearless person. Yes, I am aware that you had your share of ups and downs in both your professional and personal life, but uh, you can't go into politics without some sort of experience in problem solving. And as you know, the elections for the Oblast Council are in two months. I'm offering you to run for office in our national party. This is an interesting proposition. Are you even sure that my experience and skills are reasons enough? Don't you think you're taking a big risk with me? Anna, I can see that you're enthusiastic, persistent, and most importantly, ambitious. Am I mistaken? I'll certainly consider your proposition. That's excellent. Thank you. Are you following me? We need to talk. I think you've said quite enough. I don't think there is anything else you might say about me. Or are there more compliments? I'm so ashamed of myself. I shouldn't have talked about our personal life in public. You had no right to talk to me like that at all. So you... didn't go away with Andre in a cab? I did. He was drunk and I took him home. How thoughtful of you. Was there... no one else who could take care of this drunk? No friends? No girlfriend? I hoped my colleague, you would do the same. You treat him as if he were special. I'd never have thought you liked alcoholics. Didn't you feel sick when you... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do you hear yourself? You're crazy! No, you're crazy. The champion of the deprived. Go to hell! Me in politics. Interesting. Maybe I should accept this proposition. I could do a lot with it, too. Honorable Anna Dobrovolsky. It sounds good. I could even serve my country and help people. I wonder what my sister would do. Nothing. She probably would have quit her job after getting married. But I... I can do this. The audience trusts and likes me. If I was able to talk Sophia out of killing herself, then I should be able to convince people to vote for me. And I'll win the elections. And after that, maybe I can become a minister or something, or maybe even the president. Money talks and bullshit walks. What are you thinking? What kind of a council member would you make? You're a coward. That's a nice rock, eh? Hey? <sighs> 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 <sighs>